Shalom, first and foremost, only give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakar Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutation to all you occupants pushing this truth and truth sincerity. And we're going to get into uh, a wars and rumors of wars. Seems like this week, all right, the major prophetic events that's bound to happen in the Bible are speaking. So this is from the times of Israel. Israel could rethink, Iran, excuse me, Iran could rethink Israel attack amid strong diplomatic pressure from the United States report. Show of U.S. military strength could play a role in Tehran lessening its threat. Report claims alongside Iran's understanding that bomb that killed Hamas leader detonated remotely. A supporter of the Iran-backed Hezbollah and Hamas so-called T-groups holds a mock rocket at a protest to condemn the killing of Hamas leader Ishmael Hanayeh Wednesday, July 34th, 2024, which is the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. White House officials believe that intensive diplomatic efforts to temper Iran's retaliation for the killing of Hamas leader Ismail Hanayeh in Tehran last week may be having an effect. The Washington Post said on Tuesday, while also reporting that the Biden administration was enraged by the timing of the assassination. The Middle East has been bracing for a possible new wave of attacks by Iran and its allies following Hanayeh's death, along with the killing of top Hezbollah military commander Fuad Sukkur in an Israeli strike in Beirut hours earlier. While Israel has not commented, commented publicly on Hanayeh's death, Tehran has blamed Jerusalem and vowed that it must be made to pay the price. So we're seeing retaliation between Israel and Iran that's going back and forth, and it's going to lead to these different wars, and it's going to ultimately lead up to World War III. So I got a quick precept. This is Mark 13 and 7. And when you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be. And that's in the Bible. You know, for you Christians that say uh, God is love all the time and we got to show love and peace. And we got to love each other. Well, this is in red. This is the Messiah who the, the world enemy calls Jesus Christ, especially down here in the south. These Jesus freaks down here. I guess they haven't read Mark 13 and 7. Let's read that again. And we shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. These are wars and rumors of wars. It's a rumor that Iran is going to attack Israel very soon. But we have to wait on, of course, uh, Jeremiah 49 and 20, which I'm going to get. But these things are happening in the world, and the Quran is not telling you that. The Book of the Dead is not telling you that. These Christians aren't even telling you that. And these Hebrew Israelite camps got too, these other Hebrew Israelite camps got too many gimmicks and games still want to do unity camps still want to debate the same old two-step with you other camps when war is on the horizon this week alone has been hot i haven't seen any video from the isupk iuic aoc about any prophecy even sakari and whatever group Hassad and deacon akar came up with genesis i don't know man they're not telling you of the wars and rumors of wars because they don't have the spirit of prophecy according to Revelation 19 and 10. And when you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be you not troubled, because we still got to wait on the implementation of the mark of the beast, which Elon Musk successfully experimented with his second Neuralink uh, brain implant. So we're still waiting on that. For such things, excuse me, for such things must needs be, because this is a transition between this cre this present evil, wicked world under Esau, Edom, and the transition between Esau to Jacob. Read Second Ezra chapter six, verse seven. 
And you so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans should be happy. All right? Because this is the end of this red man. All right? Ever since he brought his red ass over here, he's been causing havoc. I was just watching a documentary about Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indians, and the state of Florida, and how basically, you know, they say they're unconquered and whatnot, but they Esau just basically took the whole land, man. Now they're, they're on a reservation just like Gad up there in South Dakota. All the 12 tribes have been oppressed here, Jeremiah 50 and verses 33. So if you're a so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American on your father's side, you should be happy for this. It says, for such things must need be, because our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, is coming back. Jesus ain't coming back. Yahweh Shah is coming back. Continue on, it says, but the end shall not be yet. Verse 8. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. There was like 103 earthquakes last week in West Texas. There's going to be people going against each other. There's all type of division going on right now. And there shall be famines and troubles. There's troubles out here. The people are taken to the streets. There's protests everywhere. As you can see in this article, there's a protest here. It looks like in Tehran, which is the capital of Iran. There's protests everywhere. But here in America, you're waiting for uh, week one in the NFL, college football. You're waiting for this uh, sideshow of entertainment called the uh, presidential election. Continue on, it says, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. So the, this is only the beginning of sorrows. It's going to get worse here in America, as we've been telling you so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? Tomorrow is what? August 8th, 2024, the hopefully year of Jacob's trouble. Who knows what is going to happen? All right? And then you've got natural disasters. You had this Hurricane Debbie that just hit um, Florida and Georgia. You know, Savannah, Savannah, Georgia is damn near underwater right now. These are the signs of the times, and we're telling our people to wake out of sleep. All right? America is not going to be here that long. This place has an expiration date like any other empire or kingdom that you read about in the history books. So I've got one more scripture. We'll see what the Spirit got as far as another one. This is Jeremiah 49 and verses 20, because it's going to escalate between Iran and Israel. But we have to wait on this prophecy as well. Jeremiah chapter 49 and verses 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord. This is all the counsel of the Lord. The scriptures say man's goings is of the Lord in Proverbs 20 and 24. So the Lord, is, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, is stirring the pride and getting these other nations to fight themselves, fight each other. All right, for his people, Israel's sake. Tells you that in what? Joel, the second chapter. Continuing on, it says, Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that he have taken against Edom. Edom is the self-proclaimed white man. He's not white, he's red. All right. And his purpose that he have purpose against the inhabitants of Teman. Teman are those so-called uh, Germans, you know, and it's beautiful because the Temanites came up. The Lord put the spirit on these Temanites, these so-called Germans, like with um, Robert Oppenheimer, I believe it was Otto Hahn, who came up with nuclear fission, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. All right. He put the spirit on these Temanites, these so-called Germans, to come up with the thermonuclear intercontinental ballistic missiles that we have that these other nations have today to destroy themselves <laughs> and Israel is going to come out on top. All we got to do is prophesy. Continuing on, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. The least of the flock is talking about those um, Amalekites, those guys that are over there in Israel, those Israelis, they're part of Edom as well. And guess what? The world hates them just how like they hate Edomites over here in America. These Edomites are getting tired of all that money going over there to Israel and the Ukraine. So it's all types of division amongst Esau, Edom. Even here in the United States, you got 
one side is vote for one person and one side is voting for the other. There's going to be all types of division amongst Esau and Edom. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. So you're going to see Netanyahu, all right? You're going to see more of him. You're going to see more of the leader from Iran, all right, go back and forth. But it, ultimately, let me continue to finish before I break it down. Jeremiah 49 and 20, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. We have to wait until Israel, all right, the state of Israel, those Israelis actually invade and attack Iran. And then you'll start to see Russia, Vladimir Putin, I call him Master P. You're going to start to see them get involved and you're going to start to see the United States get involved. And that's going to lead to all out World War III conflict, Valley of Jehoshaphat. But before that, we have to wait on the implementation of the mark of the beast, which is that digital device, that same device that Elon Musk is putting in people's brains. They're, they're going to use those for buying, selling, all right, which ISUPK is not telling you about, IUIC, Sakari knows, but they ain't telling you, all right, Hassad and um, uh, Hakkad, they're not telling you. All these other bootleg Israelite camps marching through the ghetto, they're not telling you. So this is just a quick update, wars and rumors of wars. We'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll see what happens next week. All right. We can, I mean, you know, well, we don't know the day nor hour, but things can uh, quickly escalate in the coming weeks to months. So with that, it's a hot time to wake out of sleep. Let's get that one right quick. All right, there's, there's internment camps here in America. They they still got these foreign troops here. I, I say I say that a lot in these lessons. These foreign troops, these 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 Africans, and these men from Asia. It's not just God. It's just, it's not just guys from Venezuela. That's a narrative because Esau likes to demonize the Israelites because Venezuelans are Israelites. It's not just a bunch of Venezuelans here. It's, it's a bunch of military men from all over the world. And you know what? They have a vendetta against America because they because Americans probably went into their country, robbed them of all their resources, raped the children, all right, and the women. All right. And some of these guys, they want revenge, man. They want revenge on you uh Whataburger eating uh Americans, man, who have no idea what's going on. Like give give, give you some football in a minute. And these people aren't paying attention, man. All right. Give me give you some football. All right, give you some holidays. Especially our people, man. Our people still out here committing adultery, still getting tattoos and lineups, still believing in Jesus, still eating pork. And the Lord is going to make his second return and you're going to be found in violation. If you don't repent, Romans 13 and verse 11, and that knowing the time, knowing the time when this war, if you see this on your screen, this, the war is coming. For all you scoffers and scorners, I got this goofball on my page. Talking about, yeah, one West this, one West this. I wasn't in one West, man. Take that up with somebody in one West, man. All right? For you scoffers and scorners. Always got something to say and warnings on horizon, man. You better get right. You scoffers and scorners better get right as well. And that knowing the time, wars, rumors of wars, famine. More, it's going to be more racial tension, man. All right, with this so-called black woman. Well, she's not a so-called black woman running for president. You so-called black women, women need to watch out as well. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, wake out of that catatonic, dull state of mind that you're in, getting money, getting to the bag. You know what they're going to do with the money? It's going to go digital and it's going to it's going to fulfill Revelation 13 and 16. That's going to be the new way of you people trying to get to the bag. You're going to put that device into your hand or your forehead. That's what getting the bag is going to uh, uh, equal to in these coming days. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. All right, salvation is deliverance from this system where you're getting played by the food, you're getting sprayed by chemicals in the air, the water has got forever chemicals in it. Everything is a death style here. We will have salvation over these nations who look down upon us, especially Esau, Edom, the red man. Salvation is not just a, a statement. We're actually going to be ruling in righteousness and telling these other nations 
how to do it. In the kingdom of heaven, there won't be any war protest. That's what we're looking forward to. We're looking forward to have children and not have to worry about them being in a sex trafficking ring. All right? Wake up and not have GMO foods. Wake up and not have to go to work. That's salvation. We don't want equality. We want rulership according to the Bible. And that's only for Israelites. So, hey, with that, hey, it's hard time to wake out of sleep for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. As we keep telling you with these lessons, it's hard time to wake out of sleep. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Shalom.